Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Our uh, today's topic is uh, urea treatment of uh, uh, wheat straw. Uh, <clears throat> First of all, I would be giving you the background for um, uh, the importance of uh, wheat straw as animal feed. So basically, uh, wheat straw is a poor quality dry roughage, uh, which is given uh, to the cattle, like uh, cattle is a ruminant, cattle or buffalo, uh, as fillers, because uh, the straw hardly has any feeding value. They are highly deficient in minerals, vitamins and proteins. Uh, the DCP value for uh, wheat straw is zero. I mean, there is no calcium and uh, phosphorus mm -hmm. and total digestible nutrients, TDN is 48.3%. So, uh, 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 straw uh, has uh, some uh, carbohydrates they have in their cell wall and the microbes in the rumen, they colonize the ingested feed particles and the cellulitic strains they partially degrade or hydrolyze the um, cellulose and the hemicellulose uh, through using the enzyme called cellulases. And the degradation of the uh, cell wall, it requires the microbes to attach themselves to the feed particles so that the enzymes can penetrate uh, inside the fibrous structures, hence the need for the microflora, which secretes these enzymes. <clears throat> But wheat straw, it shows a high proportion of lignified balls encrusted with the lignin in a very uh, complex manner. So the lignified uh, balls, they resist for a long time for the microbial uh, degradation and uh, peristaltic mastication or rumination. And they are thus only digested slowly. So in order for a cellulitic uh, fermentation process to be correctly carried out, the microorganisms in the rumen, they must be able to find uh, the nutritive elements which they need for self-development and to enable them to degrade through cellulases, uh, the polysaccharides of the cell walls of wheat straw. And the physical and chemical conditions for maintenance of uh, good uh, cellulases are important. So uh, I would say the importance of wheat straw is uh, in terms of its fibrous in nature. It's generally low in digestibility. It produces the laxative effect after absorbing more water from intestine. And it is cheap and readily available source of energy to the, the animal body. Normally or conventionally, we uh, treat the wheat straws with urea. So, four percent of uh, uh, of urea is uh, sorry. Uh, the urea solution uh, is prepared uh, about uh, uh, four percent urea solution is prepared and then uh, prepare the urea solution uh, uh, after preparing you can sprinkle the urea solution on wheat straw after that press the straw and seal in the plastic bag or silo or pit or some kind of trench or uh, we can <clears throat> in in simple uh, i would say the procedure or the method First of all, weigh the required amount of urea. If we are using 4% of uh, straw. So mix it with the uh, double the amount of farm manure as urea is source. Uh, after that, uh, putting this mixture in a bag, piling the straw on the bag, and again, moistening the straw with water. So 50% of the, of the straw. So incubating this material for a month under the cover of a plastic sheet or mud plaster, it is recommended. So uh, basically, uh, first of all, uh, previously or in the old method, uh, first uh, urea solution was prepared, then sprinkling of solution on the straw and then pressing the straw during treatment process. Um, so uh, 
its uh, efficiency uh, was even better but in the new uh, method uh, efficiency uh, of uh, new method is f 30% less than the conventional urea treatment method anyhow any of the method can be uh, adopted uh, in order to improve the nutritional value of uh, uh, this uh, wheat straw <coughs> uh, it's a uh, only uh, chemical treatment with the uh, i mean practical potential for farmers condition uh, and uh, i would say urea is available in many parts of the country it is relatively a safe chemical uh, which is easy to store and also easy to dissolve in water uh, <clears throat> uh, though uh, the urea treatment is done by uh, farmers under practical conditions in uh, different places of the country so all uh, these things are important so we know that urea is very easily available as the farmers uh, use it for uh, uh, its application on in the, in uh, in the soil so it's a white crystalline solid organic compound which is widely used as a nitrogen uh, source so uh, if we talk about pure urea it has a nitrogen concentration of 46.6% uh, which is uh, equivalent to a crude protein content of 290 grams per 100 gram of urea. So, uh, since protein itself has only 16% nitrogen, uh, urea is easily broken down to ammonia by uh, the urease enzyme, and uh, uh, that is produced by soil or human microorganisms. Uh, and when uh, urea is used for the treatment of straw, it enhances the nutritional quality of straw in terms of increased nitrogen content, improved palatability and digestibility of the straw. So during uh, the treatment process, ammonia is generated from urea. And in the pre presence of water, it forms the alkali named ammonium hydroxide. So it has been well established that alkali uh, treatment it makes the cell walls better available for fermentation in the room so in temperate climates uh, anhydrous or gaseous ammonia or aqueous ammonia which is uh, dissolved in water is used for the ammoniation of straw and in warmer climates uh, the urea treatment is more feasible because of the easy availability of urea and its quick breakdown into ammonia compounds under higher ambient temperature uh, we can say uh, if uh, i would say the urea concentration i would repeat the concentration we use four percent of uh, uh, urea for 100 kg of, uh, of uh, straw for example we will prepare four take four kg of urea uh, and uh, then uh, we can, uh, I mean, add it uh, in, uh, uh, I mean, water to prepare its uh, solution. And 100 kg of air dry straw will be used for uh, uh, for the treatment. So, we, I would suggest that uh, the level of the urea shouldn't be lower than uh, 3.5 kg because. <clears throat> Uh, the availability of nitrogen at a very low concentration, it, it's uh, also not very efficient and uh, uh, higher levels, they result in higher digestibility in, in, in vitro trials. But in practical in vivo work, however, uh, uh, the combination, this combination increased the digestibility and intake that counts. So. Uh, no beneficial effect of higher urea levels higher than four percent so uh, have never been observed so uh, a farmer can weigh the four kg of urea in a bucket or a cup once so mark the level and subsequently use that measure for further being <coughs> so uh, you can uh, use uh, uh, 30 to 40 percent of the water 50 to 60 liters of water can be used to dissolve 4 kg of urea 
and then you can spray it on 100 kg of air dried straw. Uh, I think uh, uh, these uh, uh, details are enough for uh, understanding the uh, urea treatment of wheat straw. Uh, normally, uh, urea, uh, as I already uh, told you, that has only filling effect. It just uh, um, uh, 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 fulfills the desire of animal uh, when it is hung too much hungry and it feels that, okay, uh, I'm full. So filling effect, uh, it's all it's known as stity in human beings uh, the nitrogen content increases by uh, treating uh, wheat straws uh, with urea uh, no doubt it's a good source of nitrogen and uh, it improves the palatability digestibility uh, of the wheat straw uh, ultimately uh, it can help out uh, the animals to increase their uh, production performance. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, this one, uh, this was the whole detail of, of urea treatment of wheat straw. Thank you very much.